welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Thursday, July 30th, the Thursday before Proper 13. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Glorious God, your generosity waters the world with goodness, and you cover creation with abundance. Awaken in us a hunger for the food that satisfies both body and spirit, and with this food fill all the starving world. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now we turn to the words of Holy Scripture. Today we begin in Psalm 145. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. He is patient and demonstrates great loyal love. The Lord is good to all and has compassion on all he has made. The Lord supports all who fall and lifts up all who are bent over. Everything looks to you in anticipation and you provide them with food on a regular basis. You open your hand and fill every living thing with the food they desire. The Lord is just in all his actions and exhibits love in all he does. The Lord is near all who cry out to him, all who cry out to him sincerely. He satisfies the desire of his loyal followers. He hears their cry for help and delivers them. The Lord protects those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth will praise the Lord. Let all who live Praise his holy name forever. We continue in the book of Proverbs, the 10th chapter. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise child makes a father rejoice, but a foolish child is a grief to his mother. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit but righteousness delivers from mortal danger. The Lord satisfies the appetite of the righteous, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. The one who is lazy becomes poor, but the one who works diligently becomes wealthy. The one who gathers crops in the summer is a wise son, but the one who sleeps during the harvest is a son who brings shame to himself. And finally, in the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter. I have great joy in the Lord because now, at last, you have again expressed your concern for me. Now I know you were concerned before, but had no opportunity to do anything. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content in any circumstance. I have experienced times of need and times of abundance. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of contentment. Whether I go satisfied or hungry, have plenty or nothing, I am able to do all things through the one who strengthens me. Nevertheless, you did well to share with me in my trouble. And as you Philippians know, at the beginning of my gospel ministry, when I left Macedonia, no church shared with me in this manner of giving and receiving except you alone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've been refreshed by God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. 
Please don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying with an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. In that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to all of our neighbors who are ill an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In their pain, weariness, and anxiety, surround them with your care, protect them by your loving might, and grant to them once again the gifts of health and strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of earth and air, water and fire, height and depth, we pray for those who work in danger, who rush in to bring hope and help and comfort when others flee to safety, whose mission is to seek and save, serve and protect, and whose presence embodies the protection of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Give them caution and concern for one another, so that in safety they may do what must be done under your watchful eye. Support them in their courage and dedication that they may continue to save lives, ease pain, and mend the torn fabric of lives and social order. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, support and strengthen all those who reach out in love, concern, and prayer for the sick and the distressed. In their acts of compassion, may they know that they are your instruments. In their concerns and fears, may they know your peace. In their faithful serving, may they know your steadfast love. May they not grow weary or faint-hearted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Each day I like to share with you one good thing, a bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. So now for a horse of another color, or actually a crustacean of another color. CNN reports that a blue lobster was noticed among all the red lobsters at the restaurant of the same name. Now you may not realize it, but blue lobsters are super rare. Only about one in two million have this coloring. One of the employees was really on the ball that day because the lobster, now named Claudia, 
was spared the pot and sent to live out the rest of her days at an aquarium at the nearby Akron, Ohio Zoo. When the zoo reopens, you'll be able to visit her right there. And that's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing that you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing and share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.